Night time in Cairo and hundreds of protesters returned to Tahrir Square. First, they threw rocks at the police near the headquarters of the Arab League. Then the security forces responded with tear gas. Soon, a standoff developed between protesters and the police. But then they moved in in force using tear gas to clear the square completely. Tuesday had marked the second anniversary of the Mohammed Mahmoud killings, in which dozens of protesters died in violence with the military. Hundreds of people had gathered to mark their deaths and to highlight what they believe is an unfinished revolution. Right now, the temporary government is not able to do anything for us. The army is fighting terrorists, but do we look like terrorists? No, we are not terrorists. We are only asking for our rights as young Egyptians. We cannot live, find a job, or find anything that would make us love this country. The government should make us love this country. But while these revolutionaries were gathering close to Tahrir Square, in the square itself, the supporters of the defense minister, General Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, were also present. For they believed their cause was equally valid. I support both the 25th January Revolution and the 30th June too. I'm here also to support the army and the security of my country, because without them we do not have a state. I'm also here to call for the goals of the revolution to be achieved, because poor people are struggling to live here. Many people had feared the second anniversary of the Mohammed Mahmoud killings would bring renewed bloodshed. And during the daylight hours, the revolutionaries did storm the center square, forcing the pro-military crowds to flee and compelling the police to use tear gas to try to bring order back. The one group that was not on Mohammed Mahmoud or Tahrir Square earlier was the Muslim Brotherhood. It had instructed its supporters and the anti-coup alliance to avoid the area and to gather peacefully instead at the Kuba presidential palace. The authorities had hoped the second anniversary of the Mohammed Mahmoud killings would pass peacefully. But scenes like these in Tahrir Square show that there are still hundreds of people determined to take their protests onto the streets of the capital. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Cairo.